team, how are we all? So, on your grid this week you've got lots of activities that have to do with cooking and preparing food. So I thought it would be a good idea if I showed you how to prepare some vegetables. You will need some vegetables. I'm making bolognese for my dinner, so I've got an onion, a pepper, some celery and a carrot. You'll also need a knife. Big, big health and safety tip. Your knife is much safer if it is sharp. If you're using a blunt knife, when you try and push through the vegetable, it slips and that's how injuries happen. So it's much safer to use an appropriately sharp knife. If you are going to be chopping vegetables with a sharp knife though, you do need to get a grown up to help you. So, assemble your things, find some vegetables, find a knife, find a grown up. Last thing of course, chopping board. Let's go. So these vegetables that you can see here are going to form the basis of my bolognese. Let's start with the onion. The first thing I do is I take off any really loose papery bits around the edge. Then I take my knife and I chop off the whole root. So that's the end of these little things on. This is actually the bit that makes you cry. All of the chemicals that make you cry are in there. So if you chop that off and put it out of the way, it should be a bit more comfortable for your eyes. And then I'm making a bridge with my fingers, this C shape, and I'm holding it high up on the onion. I'm taking the knife and I'm going between my fingers. And I'm chopping straight down through the onion. I'm going to put half of it away in the fridge for later and use this half. And I'm going to take the skin off, dry papery bit, just by peeling. And I'm good to go. It's much easier now, this onion is flat. When it was a round sphere, it was quite difficult to chop, but now it's flat, it's much easier. And I want it in little chunks. So I'm going to take my knife, I'm going to put a cut down the middle, and then two more cuts that kind of go in towards the centre. Everybody has different ways of doing this, so do ask your grown-up if they do it differently. And then I'm going to chop straight across down my onion, and it gives me nice chunks that are going to go in my delicious healthy bolognese. They can go in the pot. Next up, next up, my carrot. Some people like to peel their carrot, some people don't. The reason not to is a lot of healthy nutrients are in the skin, but not everyone likes to eat it. So if you do want to peel your carrot, you're pulling your vegetable peeler just down the side. Like that, I'm being fussy today and peeling it. My dad would tell me off for that. Again, this is a shape that rolls, which makes it quite difficult to cut. So what we need to do is turn it into a shape that doesn't roll. So I'm going to hold it nice and firmly in this hand, and I'm not going to put the knife near my fingers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tip of the knife on the mat and then press down like a lever and take the top off, and exactly the same taking the bottom off. You can see that my knife is not near my fingers all the way over here. Then I chop the whole thing in half that way and then I make that bridge shape with my fingers again so my fingers are away from the knife and cut it along the way. And that means I've got two flat bits that I can put down and it doesn't roll anymore. That's much safer to chop. And do the same with this part too. And then I'm balancing the tip of my knife and I'm rocking it. And as I do that, I'm pushing the carrot into it. Making sure that I keep moving these fingers away from the knife. And this technique of rocking the knife and moving your fingers away 
is a really good way of stopping it slipping and keeping your fingers nice and safe. And that gives you these nice little half moon shapes. Into the pot we go. Next up, my celery. I've taken the end off. I don't like to eat that in a bolognese because it's um, too fibrous, but it can go in stock or in soup or something where you cook it a little bit longer. I've taken the knife because I want small chunks of celery and I've just put a split along that way just to make the bit smaller. This doesn't roll, so it's nice and safe to cut and we can use exactly the same technique as we did for the carrots. This is brilliant. I'm going to get a job on Saturday Kitchen. Um, I've decided um, to become a chef because I'm having so much fun filming cooking videos. And into the pot. So garlic. I'm going to take off this end bit that's not so nice to eat. So I chop that straight down, put it away. And then to get the skin off, put my garlic on the board put my knife flat on top of the garlic and I give it a good smack with my hand. And when I've done that, the skin just slips straight off, that can go away, and we can chop the garlic using the same rocking technique, back and forward very carefully. Because the garlic is small, I do this very slowly because the knife is near my fingers. So when you're cutting something long like a celery, it's not so dangerous, but the garlic, because it's smaller, I do that more slowly. Right, the pepper. It looks a bit different to when you last saw it, but that's because I did it once and then my video got deleted. But the principle's the same. I take my knife onto the top of the pepper and I cut down along the side to cut a strip off the side. Then take the point of my knife and I pull it back like that well away from my fingers to cut it into long strips then that same rocking technique of chopping as I go along keeping my fingers out of the way keeping the point of the knife and rocking it up and down I remember my dad teaching me to prepare vegetables uh, and using I think pretty much exactly the same words about rocking the knife and keeping your fingers out of the way. I'm feeling quite nostalgic for, for him just now. Right. Let's get this in the pan. You can see I've got all of my wonderful vegetables in here and a spoonful or two of oil as well. Just so it's all going to cook down really nicely. And I'm going to put the lid on that and give it 10 minutes or so to get nice and soft. So I've added my lentils, my tomato sauce and then some salt and pepper and some herbs. I'm giving that sort of 20 minutes or so to cook. Let's get some spaghetti on. I love spaghetti. Would quite happily eat spaghetti seven days a week. In fact, during lockdown, I mostly have. So, this is my dinner just about ready. I'm really excited to eat it. I've actually added lots of chilli to my, to my sauce, so it's going to be really spicy. Hopefully this gives you a bit of a way in if you wanted to have a go at doing some chopping and preparing your vegetables yourself at home. If you have any vegetables that you're looking at thinking, how do I do this one? Let me know. I will see if I can help you out. Um, in the meantime, let me know what's cooking. Bon appetit!